Welcome to this QuickBooks 2022 tutorial for beginners. What is accounts receivable? My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. Uh, first things first, hey, if this video is helpful uh, and is educational for you, do me a favor and please subscribe to my channel. Also, give it a thumbs up, share the video. I sure would appreciate it. Also, head over to the QuickBooks University where you will not only learn everything you need to know about QuickBooks with our masterclass, uh, but I will also answer your personal QuickBooks questions. That's right. One-on-one -on -one QuickBooks support. Head over there, qbuniversity.org. Okay, so I want to put together this video. I do all these videos on, on QuickBooks and how to use QuickBooks, but, you know, the ultimate goal is how to understand uh, what's going on behind the scenes. So QuickBooks makes it very, very simple just to, you know, do certain things, and they've got these simple forms. So, like, if I go to, you know, enter bills here, uh, you know, it's a form. You fill in the vendor. It's pretty self-explanatory, the amount due, the due date, and what account it goes to. Well, in, in, a, in an accounting system, so to speak, uh, this is all the behind-the-scenes stuff. And QuickBooks kind of reverses that and says, okay, we're going to make it easy to input this, and we're going to do all this behind-the-scenes stuff for you. Okay. So when it comes to understanding, you may understand, okay, how do I enter something in QuickBooks, but what is this really doing? I mean, the ultimate goal is you need to really understand, okay, well, what does this do? How does this affect me, my business, my books, my, you know, whatever to help me make decisions? Because the ultimate goal is, okay, how do I use this information? I'm, I'm spending this time putting all this stuff into QuickBooks. Uh, how do I use it to help me make decisions? Okay, so the first thing is uh, you, you go back kind of the roots to this. So accounts receivable, um, it's an accounting term and it basically just means this is what people owe you. So your customers, your clients, whatever, it is money they owe you. Now, if you are a retail store or some sort of store like a restaurant where you have a, a point of sale system, you're generally not going to have accounts receivable unless you have some kind of like wholesale accounts or something like that where they owe you money. Uh, but, you know, for all of pretty much all of the businesses, I mean, you do a service, uh, you know, maybe you ship something, then you bill later, whatever the case may be, you are going to have what's called accounts receivable. And it simply means that your customers or clients or somebody owes you money. And you have to track this in QuickBooks because you need to make sure uh, that you get paid for the services uh, uh, provided or the products that you sold. Okay, so now in a broader sense, you need to understand that, you know, this gets kind of deep. I'm not going to go into it fully in this video, but uh, accounts receivable on an accrual basis means that that is revenue. So if you bill a customer or a client, you have accounts receivable and it is now revenue to your business. If you are cash basis, which means that you only report sales when you collect the money, sending an invoice to a customer does not create revenue. It's only when you collect on that income. Okay? So let me show you some an example here of if I go and I say right here, I say I'm going to create an invoice. Okay? And we're going to, let's just pick somebody here, Slava. Foman utility shed and we're going to say that this is new construction the date I'm going to make the date a little bit further out so you can see easily where this is going so we'll say February 15th 2025 invoice 1109 it's got all the information net terms etc okay so let's put in a couple items here we're going to say just a concrete slab and we're going to say, uh, let's say one, and we're going to say that this was $15,000. Okay, so uh, we poured a concrete slab and we billed this customer $15,000. All right, so you see here this invoice, $15,000. Now, at this point, uh, we, we did the work and we are billing the customer $15,000. We are sending them an invoice. So whether you email it, you print it, mail it, whatever the case may be, you are creating an invoice. Now, once I hit save and close or save and new, when I save this, it's going to turn this into accounts receivable. So let's save and close. 
Now I will have $15,000 accounts receivable. So what I want to do, I'm going to show you where this shows up on the reports. If I go to company and financial and go down to balance sheet standard, and I'm going to change my date to 2025. And I look in 2000, let's see, let me do this full year. Uh, let's say I'm going to do 010125 to 033125 to get that date range. All right, so you're going to see my invoice here for $15,000. This shows up in accounts receivable. That means that this company, uh, this customer or client owes me the $15,000. Now, let me go back. I'm going to show you a little trick here. If I go to view an open window list, it's going to show you all your open windows so you can jump around easily. I go back to the balance sheet and I'm going to change the date on this to 02-15-25. All right. And it's going to have that in there. Now, if I change this to cash basis, you see right here, it says accrual basis. If I change this to cash, Okay, accounts receivable, there shouldn't be any, so there's something going on here in QuickBooks. Uh, if I do this here and I click on this, you're going to see, let me do this date range. Okay, nothing shows up. So my, my uh, any, I'll just even put this through the end of the month. You're going to see on a cash basis, nothing shows up. So my 15000 doesn't show up, So, but if I put it on accrual, it does. So that's the difference between accrual and cash. Accrual means when I do the invoice, it's revenue and it shows up as accounts receivable. When it's cash, it's not. It's kind of a, a non-event in accounting lingo because I have not collected that money yet. So see again, it disappears when I click on cash and go back to accrual. So you can see this can have a pretty drastic impact on your profit and loss and your balance sheet when you're looking at it uh, on an accrual or a cash basis. All right, so that is the basics of what accounts receivable is. It is not a difficult concept. I know accounting uh, generally has these terms like accounts receivable, accounts payable, deferred revenue. You know, we have these terms and it makes it sound very, very complicated. But when you really boil it down, accounts receivable is simply the money that your customers or your clients owe you. And QuickBooks provides a nice and easy way to track that. Any questions, any comments, feel free to leave those below and I look forward to talking to you soon.